Today we're talking about a topic that people find sometimes confusing, but never fear, we will break it down and try to make it more understandable. That topic is the Nyquist criterion. The basic idea is that we use the system in open loop, the open loop system, to determine the closed loop stability. So let's talk about the open loop system first. Here we have our normal system, and remember this G would include both the control system, the control transfer function, and the plant system. So you would have both of these multiplied together. This essentially is what is in this G. So based on the controller and the plant that you have, so this would be your output Y, we have some sort of feedback. If you have a sensor or some sort of transfer function that goes in the feedback loop, you can multiply that here. And then based on these characteristics of these two systems, in open loop, so putting a sim input in here and measuring the output, we can determine if when we put it into closed loop, like this, so we have some sort of reference input, put this into closed loop, we can definitively determine if this system will be stable or not based on the frequency response of this system and the open loop poles and zeros. So we'll be using the Nyquist criterion to determine that closed loop stability. We'll have to go through a few different concepts in order to get to the full idea. So looking forward to an exciting time with Nyquist criterion.